So I took a quick road trip down to visit my family, and this is what I was talking about. You know, I this is the thing that I want improved. You see how my car is weaving all down the road because it can't find any lines? This is a perfect example of this. No lines on the entire road, so the car keeps just swerving around cars to the road edge. Um, I This is what needs to be fixed. It needs to be like a virtual line down the center of the road, something like that. That is my... That's the biggest issue I'm having with, oh look, waiting for bicyclists, that's cool. But I drove all the way from, oh, it was like waiting for that bicyclist. Okay, it's hesitating. I pushed on the accelerator there because it just wasn't accelerating. I think because that bicyclist that was uh, going across the road there. Now, it should just kind of pivot around this. Yeah, there it goes. I think because he has like a, he had a bag of fruit or something he was holding, and the car didn't, it was, he was wider than the standard just light, so it was kind of hesitating a little bit. Anyway, I drove all the way from Sacramento to, I'm in Merced right now, and I only had, I had only had to disengage three times total. And it was only because in the street that I turned on into Merced has these pretty significant dips and the car was not slowing down for the dip. So it is responding to traffic humps or speed bumps, but it's not responding to dips. Now, these dips were highly visible. It wasn't like the road, same color. You could see the color change. You could see the, the water and the car did not react whatsoever. So I had, to, I had to brake for both those instances and sent the snapshots. And then it started just ping-ponging all the way down the road because it's it was, uh, no lane lines. As you saw at the beginning of the video here, the car just kind of like goes weaving down the whole road. It's just not good. You know, if there was if there was a cop behind me, I would literally be pulled over for drunk driving because the car is literally going like this all the way down the road. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I, I know it upsets people that I say my car is drunk driving. Literally, that's what it looks like. I'm just calling it how it is. And I've tweeted it multiple times, Tesla needs to fix this issue, like, severely. So this is a good example. Traffic lights out up above, the one on the right was working, still was functioning correctly just because it was detecting that light. Reacted a little bit too slow for me, like, for this light. I would have started just decelerating but it kind of like pushed on the brakes. See what's happening? It is not detecting the stopped cars and it keeps throwing on the turn signal. Here we go with crazy turn signals again. See what's happening? It's detecting these cars as stopped, for, or like blocking the road instead of, so I'm gonna cancel FSD because this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, you see it keeps detecting these cars. Oh my gosh, what is it doing? <laughs> wow. Yeah, and all these people keep reaching out to me. Oh, how do I get FSD? I don't know. They selected me. They called me. You know, you don't want this software. You're going to get a ticket. You know, like people, seriously. This is totally beta. I mean, I would say this is more alpha than beta. But still, come on. Like, these issues need to be fixed. Throwing on turn signals randomly, wanting to change lanes, swerving down the roads. Like, this is not something that people just should be driving around the roads. These, need, this, these issues need to be corrected before they're released out to more people. It's not all fun and games. It's actually pretty stressful. So just so everyone knows, I did reboot the car. Oh look, it's reacting. Oh no, it's not. They're accelerating. <laughs> so it's not reacting to the turn signal, and it like, it's accelerating pretty hard. Like it was trying to close the gap in, and not letting that car. And I'm gonna just snapshot that because that scenario should have it should have reacted to the turn signal like it has before. The car the car was creeping over, but my car was accelerating like like I was being, you know, a douche and not letting them in. see how it reacts here. So no turn signal and it's turning in front of a car. 
<laughs> Let's turn on the camera so you can see this, because it just like swerved. <laughs> It's rough, you guys. I, I swear, like, people, oh, I want FSD beta. No, you don't. <laughs> really, you don't. <laughs> it's rough. Sure, it's cool and all, but it's in testing prep. It's in testing phase for a reason, to get these issues worked out. Seconds left late finding issues there. You see that? It was like it swerved a little bit and threw on the right turn signal. It was very quick. Again, random turn signal. See? Road width, it's justifying to the lane edge instead of this white line. Like, this is what I keep complaining about. There is an issue. Just, like, there's an issue here and it keeps centering wrong. You can see the car up in the truck in front of me was to the left, and my car keeps going to the right and justifying between to center itself in the lane. So let's see how it handles this turn. It should have turned on the turn signal. It didn't it didn't turn on the turn signal here? It turned fine though. Okay, back on the road. Hmm. I'm not sure why it braked there. So this is an unprotected left-hand turn onto a pretty busy road called Yosemite Avenue in Merced. It's clear on the right. Pulling out. Look at that. Man. You know, it, that's the thing. If all these people are... I, I, I'm getting so many messages from people. How do I get FSD beta? You know, it, it's, it's not fun in games. This is pretty serious stuff. Like, my car just accelerated out. It was going to accelerate out in front of two moving cars, and this is a 45. You know, they're moving very, very fast, and the car pulled out, and you can see the cars reacting to it. Just, my car started to pull right out. And it's not like it just starts to roll. It accelerates pretty hard. You saw the bar. This isn't just like fun in games. I mean, it, the car could pull out and cause a major accident. So people need to understand this. We're, we're going through the testing to rule these scenarios out. Maybe they're going to switch off unprotected left, you know, unprotected turns in front of traffic for that reason. You know, maybe you're going to have to tap the accelerator like I've seen in other videos where you tap the accelerator to confirm that it's safe. But as you just saw, it, it started to pull right out in front of traffic. So this isn't just fun and games that, you know, we're, we're doing this. This is really serious, you know. It could cause a major issue for people. It could kill you or at least harm you really bad. So, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> it swerved so hard just now to the left. I had to disengage there. That was, that was rough. Man. It wasn't like I applied for this. They called me and asked me if I could be part of it and that it was, I was told alpha level. You know, even though it says beta, it's definitely alpha level because I think it was, it's gonna be beta when it's more wide, personally. It's definitely alpha. I mean, especially the very first build that we got, build beta one and beta two, essentially. That was very, very rough. I mean, it's significantly better than it was, but there's still a lot of work that needs to happen. Whoa. The stairwell just jerked to the right, and there's a car right here. I don't know if you saw that, it went like that. It didn't switch lanes, but it definitely jerked for some reason. It may be the light, the sunlight glare. Because I, I can't see any, any reason why the car just did that. Now, it's not like we're going through a challenging area. This is literally just a straight shot, and then a left-hand turn. But it is going to be an unprotected left-hand turn. Now, I'm just going to say, when I had my, I did like a time warp thing from my GoPro, I was honked at so much already just turning into this town. That's how the drivers are in this town. I don't even know of how many Teslas are in this town, but there's not that many. And I was already honked at just jumping off the freeway with the car acting a little crazy at in the intersection, kind of taking some time. 
just someone just laid on their horn. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just did that. It, it just switched lanes to the right. Maybe it, because it was detecting yellow, I didn't notice what just happened. This car was going super fast. So let's see if it tries to push back to the right. Yeah, did you see the signal went, just went on to the right again? Something flashed. It said upcoming lane change. But this is all two. It's dual lane all the way down the entire street. Hear all the honking? People are crazy here. <laughs> okay, so the steering wheel just jerked to the right again. There's cars next to us. I don't know why it keeps doing this. I'm assuming it's sunlight glare. The sun is right over here. It's about 3 in the afternoon. Maybe it's sunlight glare. Why is it? Did you see that? Oh, man. It breaked hard. It breaked so hard that my phone lifted off the wireless charging pad and just lit up. Yeah, maybe it's the sunlight glare because the sun is like it's it's in my eyes right here. Whoa, it's doing it again. Look, look at that. Whoa, it just it just was jerking the wheel in front like it was trying to go around this car because it was moving slow. That was wow. I I have to re there it goes again. Lane change. I'm going to have to report this. This is pretty significant. Like it was wanting to overtake the slow moving car. Yeah, no. What the heck is it doing? What is it? This is rough. See? Left. It's not going to go. It's stressful, you guys. Like, I drove, you know, it was earlier in the week. I think it was Monday. Monday or Tuesday. We were driving for pretty much half the day in FSD beta mode. I was so exhausted by the end of that drive. I didn't even take my car out all of Tuesday. Like, that's how exhausting this is. Because your car is just doing crazy stuff. Look, do you see this? Look at that. See how it's, look at my steering wheel. I'm gonna keep my hand so you can see the steering wheel. Like it keeps making these adjustments. Do you see this? Look at that. Because they're, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done.